Welcome to the Saturday Update. Nate Gardner with you. Several communities in Victoria's flood-ravaged regions remain in evacuation centres. The towns of Rochester and Charlton have been completely cut off and major flooding is occurring on the Ovens River at Wangaratta, where the river is expected to reach 12.8 metres. While Shepparton Mayor Shane Sarley telling Nine residents are preparing for the worst. So we're talking about sandbagging, we're talking about getting your valuables to, to families that perhaps aren't going to be impacted, but... Acting now rather than later is always the best case. And Maribyrnong residents in Melbourne's north still can't access their homes with around 60 properties affected. Meantime, Queensland is preparing for the wet season with water from the state's largest dam, the Wyvernhoe, to be released over the next two weeks. An extra eight weeks paid parental leave will be available to all new mums and dads under a major extension of the federal government's current scheme. All up, 26 weeks leave will become available from next year. Speeding fines are set to be introduced for e-scooter users in Queensland. Those caught travelling at 30 k's an hour over the speed limit will be slapped with a $570 fine. A report into the deadly stampede at a soccer match in Indonesia that left more than 130 people dead has been handed down. Investigators have found tear gas was the main cause. Our former US President Donald Trump says he wants to testify before a committee investigating the January 6 attacks in Washington. To sport now, and it's brought to you by Ladbrokes Mates Mode, the better way to chat, share and bet together. T's and C's apply, and remember, gamble responsibly. Call 1-800-858-858. The T20 series between Australia and England has seen the visitors win 2-0. It's after Game 2 was washed out at Canberra. The visitors' innings was cut short at 12 overs. The home side's run chase managed just under four overs, reaching 3 for 30 before the heavens opened again. The Brits getting up under Duckworth Lewis, while skipper Aaron Finch admitted the players are tired. We identified a, a, a couple of months ago that we wanted to make sure that we we're in a position to be peaking at the right time of the World Cup and not beforehand. So it's going to be important over the next couple of days to try and freshen everyone up as much as we can. And in NBL, the Taipans too strong for the Sydney Kings, 83 to 78, and Melbourne United three point winners over the Wildcats, 84 to 81. And free for more sports news, make sure you check out the sports update. You'll find it wherever you're listening to this show. To entertainment news now, Harry Potter actor Robbie Coltrane has died. The Scottish star, whose real name is Anthony Robert McMillan, was best known for playing Hogwarts towering gamekeeper Hagrid. Blimey, Harry, didn't you ever wonder where your mum and dad learned it? Oh, you're a wizard, Harry. He also won three consecutive BAFTAs for his role in British crime drama Cracker. He was 72. And we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update. 